Hello friends, welcome to Let's Tutor. In the previous video, we have solved first and second question based on the first chapter of class 10, exercise 1.2, that is on real numbers. If you haven't watched that video, then please do watch it. Now moving further, in today's session, we are going to solve few more questions based on the same exercise. So let's start with our third question. Find the LCM and HCF of the following integers by applying the prime factorization method. Friends, we solved the same type of question in our previous video. But there we had to find HCF and LCM of two numbers. But here we have to find HCF and LCM of three numbers using the same method that is prime factorization method. We know what the prime factorization method is. But if you want to understand it in more detail, then I would request you to visit our YouTube channel and watch our chapter wise concept based videos. So let's take our first numbers 12, 15 and 21 and now find its factors. So first let's write this 3 as follows. Now friends 12 will be divided by 2, 2 into 6 is 12, here it will come 6. 2 into 3 is 6, here it will come 3, again 3 into 1 is 3. So we can write 12 as 2 into 2 into 3. Similarly, let's find the factors of 15. Here 3 into 5 is 15, here it will be 5. Now 5 into 1 is 5, so we can write 15 as 3 into 5. And next 21. 3 into 7 is 21. Now 7 is a prime number. Therefore, 7 into 1 is 7. So we can write 21 as 3 into 7. Now first let's find the HCF of these three numbers for which we will have to find the common number among them. So in this which number is common? Yes friends, it has 3 as common. Therefore, their HCF will be 3. Now, let's find the LCM. First, write down the common number that is 3 and also we will write down those numbers once which are not common that is 2 into 2 into 5 into 7. Now, on multiplying we will get 420. Thus, we found the HCF and LCM of both these numbers. Friends, as we know that the product of two numbers is equal to the product of its HCF and LCM. But would this type of rule hold true for three numbers as well? Let's verify it for these numbers. We got the product of these three numbers as 3780. And now let's multiply the HCF and LCM. We got 1260. That means this rule is not applicable for three numbers. Now moving further, let's take the second number that is 17, 23 and 29. Friends, if you will observe carefully, these three numbers are prime numbers. And we know that prime numbers are divisible by 1 or itself. Therefore, we can write down its factors in this way. And as you can see here, except 1, there is no numbers which are common in their factors. Therefore, their HCF will be 1. Friends, please note here that the HCF of prime numbers is always 1. So, let's find the LCM. Except 1, there is no numbers which are common. Therefore, the product of these three numbers will be their LCM. On multiplying, we will get 11,339. Friends, here also you can verify whether the product of these three numbers is equal to the product of its LCM and HCF. As you can see here, these three numbers are prime numbers and we got the HCF as 1. As here in this question, the product of these three numbers is equal to the product of its LCM and HCF. Thus, from this we can conclude that this rule might be applicable for three numbers or it may not be. Now, let's take the third number 8, 9 and 25. And let's repeat the same procedure. Friends, you may pause the video and try to solve it yourself. If you have got the solution now, then you can check your answer from here.
friends now moving further let's take the fourth question given that hcf of 306 and 657 is equal to 9 find the lcm of 306 and 657 now here we have given the hcf of two numbers and we have to find the lcm friends we know that the product of two numbers is equal to the product of its lcm and hcf So if we consider LCM as x and now the product of these two numbers 306 and 657 will be equal to the product of its LCM and HCF and HCF is given as 9 and we have consider LCM as x therefore we can write it as in this way and now on further simplification we will find the value of x in this way Here we got the value of x as 22338 that means the lcm of these numbers will be 22338 friends you can check your answer here you can find the factor of both these numbers then hcf and lcm also and you can see if the lcm you got is correct or not yes friends you can see that our answer is correct thus we solved two questions That's it for today's session. In the next session we are going to solve a few more questions based on the same exercise. I hope you guys have enjoyed the session. Do like this video and comment down any queries that you have. Don't forget to hit the bell icon and never miss another update from Let's Tutor. Thank you.